Yes. So, we were uh, discussing why electron uh, rich alkene gives you non stereo specific and non regio specific product, and electron deficient alkene gives you stereo specific and regio specific product. So, to understand that, we said we will first write the energy diagram, like sort of energy diagram to see how this molecules will be. I will, I will start for my electron rich alkene system. I have a carbonyl system, okay, acetone. I do an n pi star for this. I'm just drawing the excited state. Right. So this should be your homo, and this should be a homo. When I draw similar type of system for electron donor okay i'm trying to keep my pi pi star this is pi pi star this should be your homo but this is in the ground state right so i'm going to put my both the electrons in pi system now what happens your non bonded electron which is on the oxygen atom can take an electron from my pi system right is this process allowed it can abstract an electron from here it's a downhill process so it is favored right so i i can have an interaction between this n and pi because it is allowed because i can my non bonded electron can easily take an oxygen. It is a type of a downhill process, so it is allowed. Fine. So, this is good. So, the reaction in this case is initiated by my non bonded electron of my oxygen atom. That is good. Now, we see how orbitally it is aligning. Fine. Um, you know the uh, pi ka orbital homo of your pi system, for it is a ethylene system, right. So, if I draw, it should be the homo, it should be more like a symmetrical. And if I draw the pi system of your orbital of your LUMO, it should be more like this, right? Fine. Now, we will see. If how from the orbital picture, how this guys both your n pi star and your pi star pi pi star is aligning. Okay. This should be my excited n pi star. When I am talking about the non bonded electron of my oxygen atom. Okay. So, the orbital looks like this n pi star. So, this is my non bonded electron n. So, I have my alkene now. Okay. So, which orbital I am going to consider in this case? This or this? Which, uh, which alkene I have to consider? Whether I have to consider the homo of it or the lumo of it? Homo, because it is a ground state. So, I am going to just take the my alkene this is my alkene and this is my carbonyl so how this is going to now attack see i have a carbonyl system okay within my oxygen and a non bonded electron okay the symmetry is this side okay just like this now my alkene <laughs> comes in okay 
with a symmetry of the same symmetry like this. So, how it should come? It cannot come like this, okay. it is like this my non bonded. So, it has to approach in a perpendicular fashion, right? should approach like perpendicular. Once it approach like a perpendicular, then you get a system like this, clear. So, it forms a bond in this fashion. It is a perpendicular approach. So, you have a carbonyl, so it approaches like this, it is more like a perpendicular fashion. Okay? So, then what I get if I draw the structure for this? I can draw once a bond is formed, it will be a way. Right. it should be like this. You will get much more clarity when you go and draw for electron deficient, then you know how that uh, that approach will help you out. So, you get a 1 4 di radical now okay? and you know now it is a di radical. Di radical can do all sort of spin inversion or C C bond rotation, you can do C C bond rotation, you can do rotation here. Once rotation happens, your stereochemistry is lost. Right? That is why the reaction is not stereo specific. See, it is first thing is that this chemistry is initiated by your non bonded electron of your oxygen atom and it reacts with your ground state of your alkene. The second thing is that the orbital in which they align is a type of perpendicular approach, so that this other two carbons are away from. So, it forms a 1 4 di radical clean. Okay. Now, we will take this electron deficient alkene and see how it goes. Okay. Same thing if you think about electron deficient can be drawn out. Again, I am trying to draw, draw my n pi star of my carbonyl. This is the homo and this is my lumo. Now, I am talking about a system which is electron deficient alkene. Right. So, if you see the pi, pi star of that, it looks like this. Uh, an alkene which has an electron withdrawing acceptor type of molecule. Right? So, previous case what happened? Your non bonded electron abstracted an electron from my pi system and that was thermodynamically favored. No? In this case, do you think it can happen? This non bonded electron cannot take my electron from my pi system, okay? Energy, energetically it is not possible, right? But can my pi star, which is in the can interact with this pi star and start the reaction. That is possible, right? I can I can interact this and this now. So, this is the first chemistry where you are going to see that pi star carbon is involved of your carbonyl system. Now, non bonded is not doing anything because it is. So, what my pi star is trying to do is pi star is reacting with my pi star of my alkene. Fine. Yes. Okay. 
Okay. So, can we now draw the orbital understand with orbital for electron deficient how it should work. See the, uh, this are like nice that if you see in orbital some picture uh, some students just close their eyes when you draw orbital. Okay. But it is nice that uh, this tells you something more. Okay. I am not getting in detail where I am doing all that. I am just showing you by a simple thing. Okay. Now, what orbitals we were talking about? We were talking about what two electrons are reacting in this case electron deficient alkene. We are talking about pi star of my carbonyl pi star electron and pi star of my alkene. So, these are the two now is going to interact right. So, just If I draw my pi star, of my carbonyl system, it is 2 again it is, this is my pi star looks to be scattered around C O and O. Okay. If I take the pi star of alkene now, right. For example, I am right. I'm taking the pi star of my alkene. Now, how this approaches? I have a carbonyl, I have a pi system, it can directly approach like this. <coughs> That's all. Okay. It will be a more type of concerted. Just you just attach it. It's a parallel approach. Directly they make the bond. To give my oxygen. That is why in this case what happens? The stereo chemistry is not lost because it is more like a concerted type of reaction where it is a and say it is a parallel approach. It is more like a parallel approach. So, one is you have a type of a perpendicular approach okay, where you have a 1 4 di radical and then your 1 4 di radical what it happens? It since it is a di radical you can have all your uh, rotation of your bonds to give you a non stereo specific product. In this case it is a type of parallel approach where the reaction is more like an concerted. So, that is the stereo chemistry is preserved clean any doubt right. So, that is the first question we asked like uh, whether the reaction why the reaction is stereo specific and stereo thing. Now, the second question we have to answer is why this reaction is regio specific okay? in that case it is not regio specific. Right? Once we know this concept then we get into the examples. Okay? <coughs> take for an <coughs> electron <coughs> rich alkene which we have seen oh. I have an uh, n pi star okay, ketone an alkene like this. So, I can write <coughs> two ways I can get this product I can get this product correct. So, 
So, what happens now? Uh, which <coughs> which you think will be good? Which side you want to be? Want to be on the side A and we say B. Which he likes to be preferred? Yeah. You prefer A, right? That is fine because you want to say that this radical is stabilized by it. Can you say completely that B cannot be formed? No. Because B is also you can see there is not big stability offered by your electron donating alkene. Yeah, is there it, it gives stability, not like that much, right. So, what happens if you do this reaction? You get the products from here. As you said, as you said, this will be 60 percentage. Okay. This will be 40 percentage. Yeah, based on your stability of the radical, yes, I can say that this is the predominating. Uh, since this radical is stable, this product is formed more. But I cannot say that this is not. This cannot be formed at all. So, when you come to the radical, you can say this radical is much more stable than this, this radical. You cannot say that the whole chemistry cannot go this way, okay. that case. But if you take electron deficient alkene, how it works is it's interesting. See, when you type of do an n pi star okay, excitation. It looks like it more like your oxygen looks like a del plus and more like a del minus your carbon when it is in a n pi star excited states so because it is sort of losing an electron. So, it becomes more like a del plus and looks like a del minus. If I take my cyano and alkene Yeah, the, uh, see when you are in the excited state that is what, in the excited state the uh, more about not uh, uh, ground state chemistry I am talking about. Okay. Ground state chemistry is you make a del minus and it is other way around, but in the excited state it is other way around because your electron has been pushed down from there. Okay. So, it is more towards your carbon then, that n pi star, pi star electrons. Okay. So, that is why your carbon becomes little bit more negative than your oxygen, it is comparatively in the excited state not in the ground state. I am not talking about the ground state here. Okay, it is an excited state, n pi star state I am talking about. Right? And this will be, I, can I write like this, my cyano, because you know, because uh, eh? I can pull all my electron towards this carbon. So, in the excited state, this, this guy makes a chemistry like this. So, I can If I say I can make a type of this type of, okay, you can make this coming close. This you call as X C plus. The excited state, okay. The excited state. What happens? Your carbonyl and your electron withdrawing alkene okay they form a sort of xc plus you know what is eczemer uh, if a same co same compound okay makes a complex in the excited state same okay same molecule for example you have a pyrene okay pyrene makes a type of nice pi pi complexes in the excited state that you call as eczemer when it is with a different molecule okay then you call as an xc plus this chemistry is more on the excited state. Okay. Once this X C plus is formed, then you know it has only one chance to give me a one product. Okay. I cannot form another way that is not possible at all. Okay. That is why the reaction becomes more regio specific. That you have to remember that you get the formation of type of X C plus formation happens in your electron deficient species. Clear? So, the use this term, uh, uh, remind this term eczemer and xc plus, because in photochemistry most of the time you use these terms eczemer and xc pluses. Eczemer is that 
association of your same molecule in the excited state. X e plus is association of two different molecules in the excited states. Clear? Because that that goes purely by your radical, and it is initiated by your no. I am talking about the ground state. Your alkene, okay, is not getting into excited state. In case of reduction, which compound is the carbonyl also in excited state or in ground state? No, no, the carbonyl is in excited state because it is induced by your non-bonded electron of your oxygen atom. Okay, in both the cases, carbonyl is in the excited state. No, you don't get that del plus del minus ne, to form an excimer. See, there should be some charge. Without charge, you cannot form these complexes. Ne? Radical cannot bring association of the molecules, but charge can. When you have a charge, you always see ne, association of molecules. Right? Now, uh, uh, tell me like uh, in the case of electron rich alkene, hmm, uh, as I increase the alkenes, why the stereochemistry increases? See, I have like uh, we said that I have a carbonyl system, it gets excited. So, I have my S0, I have my S1. Since it is an acetone, Okay, it is an acetone, uh, whatever we are talking, I have a T 1. So, I go to S 0 to S 1, and my S 1 I can go to my T 1 that you are, you know this. So, my alkene now comes into the picture reacts with my T 1. If I increase the concentration, what happens? There is more possibility of my alkene before this undergoes an intersystem crossing. Okay. If the concentration is too much of your alkene, what it will do? It will start react from the singlet excited state itself. From here itself, it starts to react if the concentration of your alkene increases. That is why I said you are talking about acetone, acetone case where you have that intersystem crossing is little bit acetone you know it is like more than 5 kilo calories per mole. So, it is little bit huge. So, molecules tends to stay in the singlet. Before it undergoes an intersystem crossing, if there are more alkenes available, it starts reacts with the alkene itself. And you know if it reacts from the singlet excited state, you are most of the time you get a stereo specific products. That is why once I increase the alkene concentration, the stereospecificity of the reaction increases. Clean? Huh? Any doubt? That is good. Fine. So, these are the some uh, concept which you should know. Okay. Now, uh, with this idea we will get into some examples. Okay. We will start now understanding some good examples and see how the chemistry works. So, whenever you see electron deficient uh, electron rich alkene, you are not going to worry much about the stereochemistry and regiochemistry, but whenever you see an alkene with an electron deficient, okay, you will be starting to see whether I am writing the stereo specific and regio specific products. Okay. We will take a now, first example, I like to make examples more on bridge like Norborine systems. Okay. Uh, so, what should be your product?
uh, not written your products. So what is your product? Oh, sorry, it should be other. Yeah, but it's fine. Where do you get this? Hmm? Uh, you think this is the product I can isolate? Uh, Bridget system dimerizes. Uh, that is good point. Uh, I, uh, that will be in your one of the question in exam. Uh, see, I am taking a benzophenone system. Okay. If I take in some acetophenone, if I take acetophenone, then you get that cyclization. Okay. That is what that is very, very important. Even if I take an acetone instead of benzophenone, see benzophenone what happens? The intersystem crossing of benzophenone is very fast. right? I said it is unity. Benzophenone intersystem crossing is unity. Whenever it gets singlet, all the benzophenone gets into triplet very fast. Okay. And then from triplet we will see only the chemistry happening from this type of pattern of Bucci. But if you take an acetone, whatever you ask is really good question. If you take an acetone, then what happens? You see both the products. One you can see even pattern of Bucci reaction very less, but you see more of the dimerization of your Bridget alkene system. Okay? 2 plus 2 cycloaddition of your alkenes. Yeah, we will come to that. We have examples there which we will talk about. Hmm? See, uh, the one thing when you write this pattern of Bucci reaction, most of the time you have to remember that your oxytane, what you are forming, is not stable. That you have to keep in mind. Yeah, you can isolate oxytanes, but most of the time oxytanes are not that much stable. Once you put in the column and keep on isolating and work it up, oxytane breaks up. Okay. So, if you break this, what, what you get? So, uh, this why I am breaking this type of products is um, uh, one thing you have to remember. See, I am not going to give like this structures if you are uh, in an equation I can write always norborine okay, with a benzophenone or I can write norborine, I can put an equation where I will put triplet sensitizer or benzophenone and give this product. Okay. Uh, so, if I get if you get an oxytane, you can always think of making a pattern of Bucci reaction. Okay, if I am giving this product, it will be hard for you to find out whether it is a pattern of Bucci reaction, whether this reaction always goes by pattern of Bucci reaction. So, uh, always think that what happens to your oxytane, hmm? do not stop with your oxytane. Uh, people do not discuss this example, but I want to see this examples how you guys do it. Can you write the product? So, I have taken type of a cyanobenzene, right? and with the alkene. What do you got? Fifty-six. 
finished what you get lactam or oxytane that's what <laughs> see we are so much we never write the structure of cyano it is also as a bond triple bond that's why i say it's an addition to pi system okay i never uh, you have that if i have an a carbonyl then if i have an alkene then only i will react okay it's it's type of an addition to pi system okay can get nice this i'm not writing right now the stereochemistry with the stereochemistry you get an lactam okay but again you know your lactams are not stable right when you put in a column it breaks down so what product you end up then write the product that's what i say this compound when you take a cyano benzene with the alkene and react in photolysis it goes through al lactam breaks it up and gives you this product fine nice example okay When you are writing your example, you first write in your book and then see the board whether you are right or wrong. Okay, that will be nice way of practicing it. I know that even you get bored when you start writing just ketone with your alkene. Uh, there's no fun. We'll take this type of examples where it has something. I'll say that you get two products in this reaction. Get me the two products. Are you getting the product? One, I can say I have phenyl C dot O I get this, right? That is what you, you want to make it when you make an addition, right? You get this. Then you can always you can say it gets cyclized to give me the product. this you can do that yeah fine because it is what radical see you are not you should come into conclusion that what radical i am talking about 1 2 3 4 sir 1 4 di radical so i am doing a cyclization fine what else it can do yeah yeah right. see this this ring can open up na? which you have studied in your beta cleavage most of the time like you have a cyclopropane ring which is strained they can open up nicely. I can break this. It can be phenyl, phenyl, O. Oh. I get this. See, writing this product, I think most of the people can get on, but this will be much more interesting to write this, right? Now, then you 
cyclase. What you get? What member ring? Seven member ring. So that's why I said, like, when you do photolysis, uh, your other minor products is also very important. That all that will tell about your what radicals you are talking about, what chemistry happens. See, it is nice that you have a radical, one four di radical, and you have a system with a cyclopropane, and you have well studied that, which is nearby it will break the cyclopropane. You get an alkene, and then you can cyclize it. It is not doing something different. Clean. Carbonyl with my alkene huh? on one side, and you have this just my carbonyl as a triple bond. So, you know that that you want to do something with that triple bond or not, or you want to get your products. CS2 acetone and I have an hydrogen here, yeah, that is why. Okay, I can have a methyl so that it is. Now, what happens? You can get this, or you can always say that, sir, I can get other product also. No? That is that is why I said that. Carbon with my you can get this also. No? So, this anyhow, this will be very less formed. And this will be much more stable radical, right. So, you can cyclize this to give you a product. You can cyclize this. These two products you can write out from your pattern of Bucci, right? Oxytane. The molecule does one more thing. What it can do? Cyclization occurs in triple bond. Yeah. Then can you write that? Appearing on your triple bond. What you get? Okay. So then you will know what the why that reaction happens. If you attack on triple bond, you get something nice intermediate. What do you get? Huh? Aline. If I attack my triple bond, Right. 
I can think of getting a carb bean. That's why it, it wants to push this. Say I can push this electron here, one dot, one dot makes a double bond, and I have two electrons, okay, which forms me a carbene. One, one to form a bond, one to one to form this, okay, and two electrons left to form a carbene. Yeah, you can draw, draw it on your. See, always it's nice that you do like this. What what uh, carbon does very fast? If it is solvent, yes, it reacts with the solvent. Okay, if it has anything, if it doesn't have a solvent which has like if I'm doing in benzene or whatever, what it does first? It does one to hydrogen shift. No? I can just push this hydrogen here. Did you study? If you have any doubt, we will discuss later. So, I have taken now a system of uh, alpha beta enone, enone type of system. Okay. So, far you were doing only with ketone chemistry. Okay. I have taken an alpha beta enone and I ask you like uh, if I take an alkene and do just fertilize that, I am just exciting my carbonyl that is my cyclo enone chemistry, I am just exciting this. What product do you think I will get? This reaction has been done in lab. So, we can tell by yield. Any guess what product? Bicyclo compounds. Six member addition. So, the two products which I get is one I get this, okay. okay this, this is forty two percentage, this is forty seven percent. What is that? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I double bond here. Yeah, sorry. So you can see in enone system pattern of which as plus, as well as two plus two cyclo additions are possible. Okay, so I can do it this type of system along with my alkene system. These are like some nice examples which help you to understand. It is not like just taking a pattern of butchery reaction, taking a carbonyl and working on it. Okay. We see another example where you can do a pattern of butchery reaction with heterocyclic molecules. Okay. Our benzophenone.
So that's what now if you think like this, you should also be in an idea of that it undergoes a path of bridge because most of the time you just go with an alkene. Okay. And if it is an alkene, then you do quite an obligation. So, you I can write two types of just you find out which let me know which will be the stable product. can get this radical or I can other way around. Okay, I can get this type of systems. So, which will be better of A or I think B? A, B, some of B, some of A. Why A? Radical gets stabilized because of? Here also I have a nitrogen. Yeah, it is type of an allylic and it is an imine type of radical, right? Allylic type two of double bond. So, this gets much more stabilized. So, write the product. The product will be nice if you can write it. Just do not write the oxygen and stop. because that is easy to What will be type of driving force for this reaction? Hey, you guys always think about driving force, right? Whenever you write the product, that's that's a better way of looking reactions. What makes this reaction to move? Breaking of oxygen or hmm? Contrication. Can I just push this hydrogen down? to make it much more aromatic. Hmm? Right? You think cannot that be a see this reaction that is what I am saying it is not like breaking of my oxytane. That is what you have to understand. In this class I am not breaking my oxytane. What I am doing? I am see I am not pushing my bond like this. I am not doing that in this case, that is not the driving force of this reaction. I am just pushing this, then I get this hydrogen here. Uh, rather than I am, I am, I am going to say that the molecule does that. So, most of the case you end up writing a ketone there. So, I have picked some examples where in previous semesters what people did wrong. Okay, that type of examples I have picked and some other examples and worked on it. Most of the time uh, in this example I see people most people stop in oxygen like this. Some people make it most of the people make it as a ketone. They break the oxygen and make it ketone. Does not happen like that. Fine. So, you should know after that what should be the driving force for the product. Please give that type of importance okay, when you start seeing chemistry like that. I okay, will see this last example which is 
nice type of uh, which you have studied molecules like this See, this reaction first step is as simple. Okay, uh, I know you can write the first step, but I I will be really happy if you can write the second step. Uh, yeah, first step is nothing but it's just a type of. So, this you get that is fine that is easy to write that part. I will be really interested what happens the second one. If you can little bit think, uh, I am just giving a clue this has some role otherwise I am not writing this I would have taken this example and written it. Okay. So, some role this I am just keeping can you think what what it can be if I break my, I can break my oxygen. Na? So, what think of, say I can just push this, I just have this, but why it has to do that much and how it flips that is more important. Any guess? Okay. end up in the class with the cleverness of the molecule. Okay, just I will write it again. In a fresh paper. You just write by yourself and see what is the what makes it to do that. Will be happy if someone knows the name of this compound. Still, any clue why it has to flip like this? Yeah, that is why I did not put that hydrogen. Now, you might get the clue. 
it forms a very nice hydrogen bonding, very strong. Can you tell me what, what is the name of this common, at least in this class? Okay. It is a very good reaction. I can take other side of this molecule, which I have not taken, different stereochemistry never happens. Only this type only it occurs, because of this hydrogen bonding. This hydrogen bonding has a big role to play there. Okay. So, with that we will uh, stop our class. Mm, next class we will start doing uh, some intramolecular hydrogen uh, pattern of Bucci reactions. Whatever pattern of Bucci we are trying is intermolecular, right. From next class we will do some intramolecular. Hmm?